Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So my next few videos uh, will be a series of uh, few OHS sessions, okay, which is specifically based on the demand from certain engineers. Okay, and in the same series in part one, I am going to explain you about the installation of your OHS, which is a HTTP server from Oracle in standalone mode. So from 20th onward, now all this OHS is come within two modes, which is standalone and all operated mode. So for, for to get a complete understanding on, you can see the my other videos on OHS, okay? Uh, but as a <clears throat> standard architecture, when we talk about the standalone and co-located, the main difference is that when you install your standalone mode of OHS, okay, then you don't need the Oracle Fusion Visual Basic Infrastructure, which is another version of WebLogic Server, which is required for your uh, Fusion middleware applications. And when you are going to install your OHS in co-located mode, then it is mandatory to you have to first install your Oracle Fusion middleware infrastructure. But when you are going for a standalone mode, you really don't need the installation of your Fusion middleware infrastructure. But yes, the structure of the uh, of the domain in standalone mode will also be exactly same as of the uh, co-located mode, but some of the features will not be available in standalone mode. There are certain requirements why we need the standalone mode and where exactly we need the standalone mode. So we will discuss same in this video along with the installation. So this video is specifically on demand of Bala Reddy. And if you also want uh, some videos to be based on your demand that you wanted to learn, then you can uh, write on the comment. Okay. And then I will post as soon as I will get the time. So now when we talk about the standalone mode, so standalone uh, mode domain is a container for system components such as Oracle HTTP servers. So now we have two kinds of a component. One is Java component and second is system component. When we talk about Java component, that means it is completely based on the Java base. That means it has been designed completely on Java. But when we talk about system components, that means it is not purely a Java component. There are some features or some part of that particular uh, technology or software may have been designed in some other language like C, C++, etc. Okay, so Oracle HTTP server is not a Java component. It is a system component, just like we have some more components from Oracle like OID, OVD, etc. Okay, so it has a directory structure similar to Oracle WebLogic Server domain, but it does not contain an admin server or managed servers. So when we talk about the standalone mode, as I said, uh, it, the directory structure of your standalone mode domain would be same as a WebLogic server domain. But the only difference is that you will not have admin server or managed servers because that is not required. We are going to install only the system component that we will manage with the help of node manager functionality. That means we can start and stop this Oracle OS HTTP server in a standalone mode with the help of node manager using certain utilities or a script that has been provided from the Oracle. Okay, so it can contain one or more instances of system components of the same type, such as Oracle HTTP server. That means once you have done the installation of your Oracle HTTP server, okay, OHS, then after that you can create multiple instances of OHS. Okay, for example, OHS one, OHS two, OHS three, and OHS four for load balancing and traffic diversion. Okay, and when we talk about the standalone architecture, so when you install OHS on separate host or server in private zone LAN. What does it mean that where exactly we need to install, uh, consider the standalone uh, OHS? The first case is that we have a, a separate host for your uh, OHS in the private zone. That means you have a, uh, your own internal network in your organization, but where you want your OHS to be in a separate host and your application server and application would be on separate host so that you can divert the traffic from the uh, OHS host to your private host. Uh, private application host, okay? Uh, but, but what I'm saying is that your application server as well as OHS in the same your private zone. Both are in the private zone, but yes, OHS in on separate server. So for that, you can install in OHS in standalone mode. Second case, if you have a separate host, which is in public zone, that is called a DMZ. So DMZ is called a demilitarized zone, okay? So what happened in, in, in the practical implementation in the organizations, no one allow the traffic from the internet or from the outside world directly to the application server, right? Then for security purpose, you place a mediator server where you place the OHS server and that zone is called a public zone because you are allowing the traffic to that OHS from the public zone. But from there, the traffic to your internal network would be completely secure because that will go to your internal uh, private network. 
right so you are not allowing the directly connection from the outer world or from the internet to your application server you are allowing the connection from the public oches which is placed on a server which server is placed in your public zone and from there the traffic is direct, diverting to your backend application server okay so demilitarized zone is a network that protect an organization's internal local area network from untrusted traffic so it is the uh, depicting the same that you have a, a particular network where you have we are allowing the connections from the outer world but there you have only ohs and then from there you are diverting traffic to your backend application server so in that case also you be consider the installation of your ohs in standalone mode okay so now let us look for the installation okay so this is the name of zip file that you can download from the edelivery.oracle.com uh, and this would be your installation uh, software name in in case you are going to install on web, uh, on on windows okay but if you are installing on linux based system unix based operating systems that you will get a file with extension dot bin okay the first screen when you will initiate the installation the welcome screen second if you wanted to opt for the to get the update from the oracle then you can select for search my oracle support for updates or select patches from directory or maybe you can skip for auto auto updates okay so this will not go for in the auto update mode of your ohs second is it will ask for to create an oracle home so structure would be same as we install the webology server first you have to select an oracle home okay and then we will go for the creation of the domain okay so when you are selecting an oracle home that means this is a installation directory for your ohs similar when we install the webology server we provide the oracle home which is a installation directory for your webology so now we are specifying a directory where your server would going to be installed okay second it will ask for to select the mode the first one is standalone and second is co located okay so now here we are going to select uh, install the ohs in standalone mode so i have selected the first option if you will select the second option co located mode in that case you will see the error unable to find dependent features of the selected installation type co located please select a valid installation type and the reason is that because i am installing this ohs in standalone mode and i haven't installed my weblogic or you can say my oracle fusion middleware infrastructure which is the prerequisites for co located as i said co located is that means you are installing your ohs along with your fusion middleware infrastructure okay and in my oracle the home that i have selected in the previous screen i do not installed i don't have installed any fusion middleware infrastructure that's why it is saying that your prerequisites softwares are not there so you wouldn't able to proceed further okay this is a difference when you are going for the installation of standalone and co located now on the second screen once you will select the co located mode, uh, standalone mode you have to select the java make sure to select the certified java then it will check for the operating system uh, certifications okay just ignore in my case because i am installing on a windows version which is not certified yet okay but it is not recommended to go in a production environment where your server is not certified with the version okay this is not uh, supported or you can say this is not uh, good practice to go in production with unsupported versions of ohs or any kind of a certifications second it will show you a summary of the component that it is going to be installed in your ohs home then it will show you the progress of your installation okay and after some time this will show you the progress that installation is completed so this is all about the basic concepts of standalone mode along with the co located mode and how we do the installation of uh, ohs in standalone mode okay and next part i am going to explain you how to create a domain for standalone ohs and then how we can start stop the components thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for interesting videos thank you